So recently I made a video of five sectional chart symbols that you didn't know about. And I thought that it would be an injustice if I didn't make an IFR counterpart of that video. So I made five TP based symbols that you didn't know about. So go and check it out. Let's quickly take a look at five symbols on the TPP that you might not know about. For this particular video, I'm focusing only on instrument approach plates, but there will be a video coming in soon that talks about departure and arrival charts. So let's get started. The first symbol is the A and A that you see at the top. The A and A is that alternate is not available. The instrument approach procedure may not be used as an alternate due to unmonitored facility, absence of weather reporting service or lack of adequate navigation coverage. Instrument approach procedures designated with this symbol are not listed in the IFR alternate minimum section of the T. That's what this symbol tells us. The next one is another interesting symbol which you can find on the same approach plate which is that little snowflake with the temperature next to it negative 22 degrees Celsius. Whenever you find such a symbol it means that it's a cold temperature report. When you have this symbol it indicates a cold temperature altitude correction is required at that airport when the reported temperature is at or below the published temperature. Advice ATC with altitude correction. Advising ATC with altitude correction is not required in the final sec. For more guidance you should see AIM chapter 7 where you will find how to do the altitude correction etc. But basically if the temperature goes below negative 22 degrees Celsius at this airport you would have to do some altitude correction because of really cold weather. The next symbol that we sometimes miss is this little D over here. The D stands for declared distance information. Declared distance information is available in the chart supplement of this airport where it tells you what is the accelerate stop distance available, takeoff runway available, takeoff distance available, landing distance available, etc. If you have a D on the approach plate, it means that you can refer to the chart supplement to find all of those declared distances. Since we are looking at the airport diagram, the star here is where the beacon is. Why do they provide this star? It's so that when you are at the airport and you want to land on runway 33, you know that the beacon would be to your right. If you are landing on runway 15, you know that the beacon would be to your left. That's what the star and that's why they indicate the beacon so that we it's it's basically for situational awareness. And finally, one last symbol, which is that little dot on the top of Malser. Why do we have A5 with a dot on top? A dot on the top portrayed with approach lighting identifier indicates sequenced flashing lights installed with the approach light system. That is what the sequenced flashing light system is. It's basically a line of white lights that align you or point you towards the runway that is why they are called sequenced flashing lights that's it for the video hope you learned something if you guys have any questions regarding how approaches work how ILS works different types of approaches final approach fix for localizer ILS precision non-precision any of these questions and you feel that you might need some resource that will help you to learn this better make sure you check out my website propellerpilot.com which has a course arriving in IFR that makes it very easy to understand instrument arrivals as well as approaches I go over multiple examples and talk about everything in detail just like how I'm doing right now actually even more in detail when I'm doing my courses.